Taco. So we're doing a, a play on a bacon cheeseburger, but it's all plant-based. I'm a cook. Yeah? Yeah, I can cook. Uh, go ahead and like patty up a burger. All right. We're in the back and I heard him say you got chicken waffles on the way, so. Yeah, go ahead and make patty into a burger. You look big on TV, but you look bigger in person. This is plant-based? Yep. Doesn't feel like it, does it? No. There you go. I'm making a mess. So while that's cooking, questions I gotta ask you. When did you start playing basketball? When I was 16. Six, oh, so you, when you came here, you started playing basketball? Yeah, yeah. Was it just a given? Like, they just like, you have to play basketball? Uh, I mean, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> there is that height thing. Some, some things you're listed at 7'5", some of you are listed at 7'6", seven, or 7'7", seven, seven seven with shoes. They need to stop playing with What me. is it? I'm, I'm seven six plus footed. Seven six. Flat footed. Right. I'm seven seven with So like shoes. seven seven shoes. Yeah. Alright. So how do you go about picking where you're gonna stay from a like counter heights and For me the biggest thing is one bathroom. I wanna take showers like that the whole <laughs> right. time. Bed is okay, I'm used to it. Beds? Yeah. You just hang off? You just do your knees hurt in the morning from hanging well, off? I sleep, I, like a baby position? Yeah. yeah. You, know, you just like <laughs> You miss home at all? I do miss home. Yeah. How often do you get to go back? Uh, I went back this summer. That was my first time in seven years. Yeah. Yeah. You ever play basketball over there when you go back? Um, so I went for we had a camp uh, mm -hmm. with the NBA uh, called BWB. Uh, I want to do that every year just mm -hmm. to get to learn and um, start doing some community stuff back home and just help the kid and the youth in Africa just grow the sport back home and um, that's just something that I'm really trying to be engaged in. That's great, man. Yeah. Who inspires you Who inspires to be an NBA, NBA player? player? My first experience with the NBA was back home and that was uh, the slam dunk contest where Dwight had the Superman cape on and it's ironic because he did the same thing yesterday. And I asked him, I was like, do you have the cape on? And he was like, yeah. And I saw it under him and it just brought back a lot of memories. And it was like one of my first experience with it. And then I, after that, I started playing basketball late. Uh, started to study a lot of great players like uh, Shaq, Akeem, Olajuwon, uh, just old school players like Tim Duncan. And from there, I just fell in love with it. There you go. Uh, who's your favorite person to play against? It's funny. I would say one of my teammates, Ennis. Oh, yeah. Ennis. Because oh, yeah. uh, we used to uh, play one-on-one -on -one a lot during the summer, pretty much like every day. And those used to get real competitive. And uh, him and I just, I, I'm very competitive too, so I, I, I used to always want to go out there. And Ennis is a great player. He's been in the NBA for a while, so. Did you ever get to meet Kobe? I never did. That's probably one of the biggest regrets I have in my life. And uh, Kobe meant a lot to all of us. Um, the players, the fans, and uh, I was I was heartbroken um, with with what happened, and that's definitely one of the biggest regrets uh, that I had that I never met. Taco, question for you: What do you like most home. about playing for Coach Brad Stevens? Coach Stevens reminds me a lot of my college coach. Um, very very chill, um, knows how to get his words words across, know how to make his players you know play hard, and he's one of the smartest players I ever been around. You want to play with him, you want to play for him. And uh, it's been a great environment just being around him. I'm learning a lot from not just him, but all, all the coaches that he has around in the team. So it's been a great experience so far. So here's the finished product of the burger. If you want to dig in, go for it. <laughs> How is it? Actually, it tastes better than I thought. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good substitute for beef. On the street, I, I eat it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Have at it. Take it home with you. Oh, yeah. Cool, man. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.